a real e motherfucking lazy was handed, man. So uh, two first round picks, unprotected twenty twenty two, and a motherfucking protected uh, twenty twenty seven. You know what I'm saying? In addition to Ben Simmons, Seth Curry, Andre Drummond. Ooh, look like, and they did all that just to get James Harden. Like, they must got some secret shit going on over there. They did all that to get James Harden. They traded all that just for James Harden. James Harden reached the peak of his career. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nowhere to go but downhill from here. Period. But I guess just to get, you know what I'm saying, Ben Simmons up out of there, now they can focus on basketball. Don't have to worry about all the hoopla in the background. You know what I'm saying? So, hey. We'll see, man. It's been a lot of interesting moves. Like, people just making moves left and right. But guess who didn't make a move? Bitch-ass Lake Show. Garbage in a mother because nobody want their players. They don't have no trade assets. And that weak-ass motherfucking um, draft pick that they got, nobody want that shit. Ain't no value, but whatever. But shit, the Nets instantly turn, you know what I'm saying, from damn near the playing game to damn near a top seed in it. In the East, if they can get Ben Simmons, you know what I'm saying, to coexist with Kyrie and Katie um, and shit. Motherfuckers, we done said all this shit about Ben Simmons, this, Ben Simmons, that. Ben Simmons is still a motherfucking super Draymond. Straight up. I think Ben Simmons is a super Draymond, bro. The shit that he can do, and he's a better finisher around the rim than Draymond. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? And you know KD and Kyrie gonna be like, nigga, you ain't coming over here, nigga, with that non-shooting ass mentality, nigga. If you got an open shot, bro, I need you to pull that trigger, nigga, straight up. And then they add size and Andre Drummond, a seven-footer. You know what I'm saying? We know he gonna run the floor. We know he can rebound and defend. You know what I'm saying? If he, when he's locked in, shit, he was a double-double machine. Made a couple all-star teams, you feel me? So... Shit, this shit got interesting. And then with the mandates being lifted in, you know what I'm saying, the state of New York, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucking Kyrie going to be able to be full-time player again. This shit then got real interesting. So now they've been pumping, you know, they've been pumping this motherfucking, um, they have been pumping this Brooklyn Nets. You know what I'm saying? Winning the whole thing this year from the beginning of the season. So, excuse me. I can uh, pretty much see. I can see the Nets. That, that that might put the Nets over the top. You feel me? Nets might go to the finals. And I think they might go up to the finals and play the Warriors. I know Phoenix, you know what I'm saying, is the best team in the NBA right now. And they went last year. But I can see the Warriors making a comeback and I can see the storylines now with you know what I'm saying? KD versus Wiggins, Seth, you know what I'm saying, versus Steph and Kyrie versus Steph and Pooh versus Seth and motherfucking Draymond versus motherfucking Ben Simmons. So you're gonna have two players that play just like each other who's scared to shoot but can run your offense to a T. You know what I'm saying? And then when James Wiseman come back, how does him and Drummond and Looney match up? You feel me? That'll be an interesting storyline. You know what I'm saying? Very interesting. And it'll sell. That shit will get a lot of press. But uh, we'll see. I think that that's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that because I'm a Warrior fan. I think that the Warriors, you know what I'm saying, have more experience, you know what I'm saying, in big games um, than Phoenix Suns. You feel me? And I feel like the Warriors are just as good defensively. You feel me? And they have star players. So, you know what I'm saying? With the addition of Clay coming back to form and, you know, Steph Curry turning it up uh, around playoff time. I think that the Warriors can come out of the West. And we know Brooklyn got a shot to come out the West now with the way their roster was just reorganized. So um, it's going to be interesting. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be real interesting. So let me know what y'all think. You feel me? Like, share, and subscribe, man. Fuck with your boy. The real one, man. Y'all have a blessed one.